Hey guys, Maximus here. Today I'm bringing you guys a Happy Wheels commentary that is not live. Instead, I'm going to try to see how um, a not live commentary works. Right now, I'm playing a map that Murphy made. Not map, but rather a level. It's super hard. I end up not finishing it, but at the end I should have some um, sort of replays that show people who were able to do the level, unlike me. Um, so basically, what's happening here is you're supposed to jump from the platform you're on onto the ledge over that wall, which has landmine at the top, into the finish. I can't do this. I have no skill whatsoever. My main problem is trying to jump in the middle part. Um, hopefully, you guys have better luck than I did if you try this. Um, I'll leave a. I don't know how you link stuff to Happy Wheels, but if there is a way, I'll link it to you in the description. Also, something I'm trying is I'm putting in a background beat to, um, in the background of my commentary. If you guys like that, please tell me in the comments if you find it distracting and it takes away from my sexy voice. Um, just tell me. Yeah, so that's about all I have to talk about right now. Um, I might also leave a link to TDC. They just lost 900 subs. Um, a member there shut down their, um, main page because he was angry. That was just stupid and childish of him to do. So please sub back to them. I'd really, really appreciate it. It'd make me feel happy. I bet it'd make um, Babe Star happy and everybody else there. Um, very pleased. So yeah, I'm letting you guys know about that. Also, um, if you want to get in on their giveaway, they have they're giving away an HD PVR. All you have to do is um, um, all you have to do is comment and like on a bunch of their videos, give them some support, feedback, and they will give you a PVR if, um, you win the contest. So that's a pretty cool reason to support them. As you can see right now on this level, I'm completely missing clicking escape than R and restart the level. It's pretty laggy because, um, my capture software is in the background, and as you can see, my FPS is dropping to, like, in the 20s, sometimes below that. Um, that's mainly because my computer was lagging at the time. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, the non-live commentary is kind of interesting to me. It's a lot different than actually playing the game. Instead, I'm just watching what I've done and commentating over it. Um, okay, so Black Ops 2 info. I probably shouldn't be talking about this right now because Black Ops 2, um, we shouldn't be talking really about it because, yeah, it's Black Ops 2 and everybody's talking about it. So instead, um, instead of talking about that, I'm going to talk about the MW3 face-off maps that are coming up. Um, you guys probably know about this, but just to clarify, a lot of people are kind of confused about this. But, um, so basically, if you don't have Elite Premium on Xbox, you are going to be getting, um, everybody on Xbox is going to be getting two face-off maps on May 2nd, not May 2nd, past May 2nd, May 16th. So that should be three days past my, um, when I'm recording this, maybe a little bit farther depending on um, when I post this. But face-off is 1v1 and 2v2 game types of kill confirmed in TDM. Um, it's, I think it's going to make uh, um, a little bit of an impact on the competitive scene. I'm going to sure have fun doing it. It sounds like cage match in, um, in um, COD 4, which is my favorite Call of Duty of all times, Call of Duty, where I actually got into multiplayer and everything. Um, I had so much fun in the cage match, but the really cool thing is that they are coming out with new maps. Two maps for everybody who doesn't have premium, um, and that will be coming out on May 16th on Xbox. I don't know about you, um, for you PS3 and PC guys, I really don't know when it's coming out for you, I'm sorry that, um, Activision has this deal with Xbox. I mean, I'm a Microsoft fanboy, I'm not gonna lie, but the fact that they're doing this, it just makes me upset, even though it really doesn't benefit me. Um... So yeah, the maps are going to be new um, for the people who have Elite Premium. Um, two other face-off maps are going to be coming out. Also, um, the two other face-off maps are going to be in the next um, collection, I think. And that should be pretty cool. Though, um, one of them actually has this really interesting thing. It's called, I think it's called, is it called Getaway or Retreat? I forget what it's called, but um, it's basically like this... It looks kind of like this one building in, um, Black Box. It looks kind of like a getaway home. And they have a pool, and if you hide under it, you start to take damage like you're drowning. But you can kind of hide under there and take guys by surprise. Which kind of seems interesting. Um, I don't know. 
how you what you guys think about that. Also, um, a lot of people say there's gonna be a lot of boosters on faceoff. Uh, I, I really don't know what position to take on this. Yes, it's a huge. Like, there's such a huge like possibility that there's gonna be boosters all over faceoff. But uh, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I don't think there's gonna be as many boosters there. Just because, yeah, I just don't think, I think if somebody's gonna boost, they're probably gonna go into free-for-all. But the fact that, uh, it just seems so appetizing for a booster to go there, and, you know, just boost it up. Lay down some tack inserts, go for headshots, get their weapon camos, yeah. Um, so, I don't really know what to think about that, and since it's only 1v1 or 2v2, 